All right, guys, so this is a supine leg lower liftoff. And there's actually a lot of things going on here, so we wanna make sure your setup is critically uh, uh, set, is set up right, okay? So with this supine leg lower liftoff, my idea is to take my hip with a straight leg into flexion, so coming towards me, without allowing the knee to bend or the bottom leg to bend or twist. So I'm really isolating the hip, making sure that's my point of focus. If we get movement elsewhere in the body, that could be the place we're adapting rather than getting the hips to open up more in this position, okay? So what I want you to do is find a door frame or a tree or anything that you could post one leg up against. You're gonna lie next to it with both legs straight. And the first step is practicing just being able to lift your leg straight up in the air without getting that compensation elsewhere in the body, okay? So do that a couple times. And then I'm gonna judge on my best pull before I start wanting to bend that knee, how high is my foot? And right now I'm perfectly lined up already, so I know I'm in a good position, but if I needed to scoot forward so that my leg was further back or scoot back so my leg was further down, I would do that because I want to be right on the edge of what I can control. From here, I want you to brace a little bit and focus on pulling from your hip and just slightly lifting that foot off without bending the knee. So I don't want to see that little heel, okay, uh, uh, knee bend and heel kick should be nice and smooth and controlled. Pull off, set it back down with control. Uh, if you can get more than three or four inches off the pole, you really need to scoot further in and make your angle harder because we're really just trying to work the top of that range of motion with this movement. It's a really good hip opener. Try it out. Let me know what you think.